Hey guys, and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm your girl, Chef Z, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make the perfect tostones. Now, there's really not that many different ways of making this dish, but I do find that people mess this dish up time and time again because they get one thing wrong. Now, keep in mind, I make this mistake all the time, especially when I'm making tostones in a rush or when I'm really not paying attention. Now, think of this video as kind of like a Chef Z tip video meets a cooking video. In fact, I'm kind of toying around with the idea of renaming the tip series as a whole. So instead of it being Chef Z Tips, it's going to be more or less a back to basics series. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys prefer for this series to be named. So should I keep it Chef Z Tips or should I relabel it as a back to basics type of series? I haven't really finalized what the new name of the series is gonna be because I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna change it. So yeah, just let me know. Now, before we get started, I do also wanna let you guys know that I'm not going to be peeling the platanos on camera because I already have a full video dedicated to showing you guys how to do that. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to peeling it, and once you watch that video, you can kind of choose your preferred method. I will warn you that if you're new to the platano game, you wanna be really careful because it's really easy to cut yourself because the kakara to this thing, so, I don't know the name in English. Um, the skin, the skin to this thing can be fairly stubborn. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. We're gonna start off by slicing our platanos and you can cut them as thin or as thick as you like. I like to cut them anywhere between medium to thick slices. And now we're gonna move on to frying our platanos and you wanna pay close attention because this is where most people, including myself, mess up all the time. My number one tip and trick to making the perfect tostones is to warm up the oil on a medium to low flame. If you warm it up on a high flame or if you get the oil way too hot, you end up burning the outside of the platano. Now, if you do it on a medium to low setting, you'll get this beautiful golden color throughout and the platanos will cook evenly all the way through the center. So after you fry the platanos for about five minutes, we're actually going to take them out and we're going to drain the excess oil. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to mashing the platanos to make the tostones and there's no right way or wrong way, but I'm gonna show you guys the two most common ways. And the first way is to use this special tostone masher maker. Not really sure what to call it, but it's a tool that's very common in a lot of Dominican households and you can find this thing at like a Caribbean market or at a Hispanic store and I'll make sure to link down below where you can find it. But if you don't have this little cool tool, you can honestly use the bottom of a cup. And honestly, this is the way I make them most of the time because this is how my grandmother makes it and I love doing this just because it brings back so many good memories. So after you've mashed all the tostones, we're going to go ahead and fry them for a second time, which is again another place that people mess up all the time simply because the oil is way too hot and they end up burning the tostones. Now you only have to refry them for about a minute or two. You just want to lock in that beautiful color and finish cooking any of the insides that may not have cooked the first time around. We're now going to take them out and we're going to drain the excess oil. Now, it's up to you. You can definitely enjoy the tostones just like this and it's so, so tasty. Or you can garnish it with a little bit of salt at the very end. So there you guys have it, my tips and tricks to making the perfect tostones. I can't wait to see you guys next week when I have an all new video. Buen provecho, guys. Hello. Que que, que los platos no están a 10 por un peso. Babe, we gotta go. Plantains are 10 for a dollar. Vámonos, vámonos.